Hello everyone, so I just wanted to show the latest version of the mushroom grow tent. And at the moment the tent is mostly complete. Actually it's just sagging on the edges since I haven't properly secured it at the top. As you can see it's just pretty much taped on. I think I'm going to put a string through the brackets. So you can see I basically the way it was constructed is I made the outside walls. So I put the outside walls together and they're taped together with this seam and folded here so no air can pass through and there's no tape on the inside so actually if you look inside it is completely all plastic so my goal is to not have any tape anywhere on the inside so since it would be all plastic so basically after that I cut out a perfectly fitting top which I rolled on gently on along each side equally and then I clipped it these lot of clips actually I still need to get a few more and uh, basically taped it down so at the moment it's actually pretty strong and if you use this fan to pump a bunch of air in here it pretty much blows up like a giant balloon and stays that way um, also the floor you can see the floor the way I have the floor essentially is basically one sheet of plastic along the floor which comes up and is pierced by each one of these nails along the edge it goes all the way around the edge and then the top comes and meets it and uh, is also pierced through there so I, I currently don't have any tape but I may just put a little bit of glue uh, under here so uh, basically no air can go out that way although it's already fairly well sealed also this acts so uh, if any water is dripping down or kind of coming off the floor then it'll collect at the bottom and I plan to have a tiny little hole at the bottom with something below that collects the water and uh, this is the floor so the floor is supported on these bolts and it's actually movable this is just one of them uh, the other floor is over there I apparently took it out but basically the tent is complete and uh, tonight I'm gonna hopefully put the Arduino and at least test a humidifier in here and, uh, I guess I'll post another video when that happens so I'll quickly show you the back as well. Well, wow. right. actually, I put that little hole right there for uh, for any cables that are going to go inside. Uh, you can see it has one third leg in the middle to support. Essentially, most of the strength of this structure comes from these metal wires. They're they're a little loose right now since I haven't tightened them in a month and a half. Basically, that's how it's built, and and it's very strong. So when you're inside, it's uh quite strong and also to fit the floor this is how the floor is at the bottom so as you can see it's it is reinforced one of the floors actually needs one more piece of wood to reinforce it but I'll get that and as you can see there's basically one thin border that goes around the edge and this is where the bolts touch to essentially make the floor float over the plastic so yeah that's that's basically the project right now